This GeoMapApp tutorial on available data explores the multi-beam data interface that's accessible in the portals menu. In this example of data portals, we'll look at the customized interface for multi-beam swath bathymetry. We click on the portal name to load the interface. Once loaded, the multi-beam track lines in this particular region, in this case for the South Central Pacific around the East Pacific Rise, are displayed in the map window as black lines. Cruises are identified simply by clicking on one of the track lines, like this one, and the name of the cruise is listed in two places, first in the drop-down menu in the right pane, and second in the lower left portion of the window here. If we look carefully in the map window, we'll see that a section of the track turn red. And this red colored section of track corresponds to the ping file that's listed in the lower left. This specific data file can be downloaded by clicking the button in the lower right here. This brings up a web browser, in this case a web page at Scripps, from which the data file can be downloaded. To identify another section of track, we click on it so that it turns red. The specific ping file is listed down here in the lower left and can be downloaded by clicking the download button in the lower right as we've just seen. And by repeating this procedure of selecting a new section of track and downloading the ping file, we can very quickly download all of the SWATH data files in a specific area and this saves us having to download an entire cruise worth of swath bathymetry data. To find out more information about the selected cruise, in this case Soldier and O1MV, we click the Cruise Information button here, which brings up a web page containing more information about this cruise. Additional datasets can also be downloaded from this page. More information on GeomapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.